Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. And it's been a couple of weeks since we've played any of this. However, you guys won't notice because, you know, they'll go day by day. Hello. Let's see what decisions you'll make today. Well, I'm deciding to play the game. <laughs> Continue. I detect a malfunction in my program. This is worrying. You don't say. I feel like she's trying to say something, but... Okay, continuing, weirdo. I feel like it's been a while since we played uh, Alice. Okay. Can we run? I can't remember. No. for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Well, that means she's here. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Well, the sun disapproves. Do you think we can trust them? We'll choose to. We don't have a choice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs?
can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Ah, Papa Bear staying with Alice. I'll go talk to Rose. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Uh-oh. Probably an army of uh, androids outside the door. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Mm. 
We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. She should get the girl some pants if she's just gonna run around. Oh, what's this? Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I oh. No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Shit! That is a nice fireplace. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. to snoop. Oh, is that it? Just $900? Jeez. See what's on the tube. There is widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. 
The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's uh, public screen. The one we did. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Uh -uh. The police. It's the police. I didn't get a chance to talk what to Kara or not Kara. Uh, they know we're here. Shit. We open the door. What, what am I? I I need to go check on. Damn it. Okay. I knew this was gonna happen. This is not gonna be good. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Okay, so questions? Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Well, let's go get that coffee, I guess. Is anyone else in the house? Uh, nobody. No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No. No, there are no androids here. What's with the blue blood? I thought you didn't have any androids. Uh, previous owner? It, it belonged to the, the previous tenant. I, I still haven't cleared all that out yet. Shit. Don't move! Oh shit. Shit, Luther. Oh, he got shot. You're gonna have to finish the journey without We me. can't, Luther. Was that based on my decision? Could he have not gotten shot? Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Shit. Okay, well that concludes uh, this episode. Hope you enjoyed, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.